All right, welcome to the first showcase of the M&T Festival for the spring semester of 2021. I hope everybody had a really nice break. My name is Rebecca Havland. Uh, thank you all for joining us tonight. I have a great lineup of performers and presenters uh, for tonight's showcase. And as I said before, this showcase is the first of three uh, that we're gonna be doing this semester here at the Purchase College Conservatory of Music. Um, and this specific showcase is going to uh, show off some of the next generation of songwriters and performers from the music and technology department. Students from both studio composition and studio production uh, will present pre-recorded and live stream performances. Some of these performances are gonna be, you know, little mini live sets, while others will be music videos of original compositions and original videos. Um, some created, some of those videos have been created in collaboration with uh, students in our film department. So, you know, we're really proud of the musical diversity of our students. And I think tonight's gonna be a really great example of that. And I'm excited to be showcasing the hard work that these students have put into creating their music this year. So thank you all for watching. Uh, and if you're just joining us, please uh, share this link, uh, text it to all your friends, tell them to come hang out. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful um, combination of music this evening. So to get things started, as happens during uh, songwriter showcases in New York, Nashville, and LA, the host usually starts out with a tune of their own um, also, so no one else technically has to go first. So I'm gonna play a new song of mine tonight. Uh, I thought I would do something really scary and new because I also, like my students, haven't had as many opportunities to perform this past year. Uh, and it's been a, a great time to write and I am just as excited as they are to get this music out into the world. So uh, this, this is the first time I'm actually ever playing this live and it's a song uh, that I wrote about New York City. It's a song I've been wanting to write for a very long time um, and, and New York City has a very special place in my heart as a as a native New Yorker, uh, you know, New York City for me is a place where people, you know, come from all different walks of life to build their dreams. And, you know, this city has a way of making us and breaking us all at the same time. But it's a place that I uh, don't plan on ever leaving. So uh, I'm going to turn my reverb back on because how nice is that to have reverb when you actually sing live streamed? Hello, reverb. Here we go. All right. So this song is called Daylight. I can't tell the truth in the daylight That's what 3 a.m. is for To tell my secrets to the night sky Swept up with the litter and the closing doors Feet staggering on the pavement My hands can't find the door Speak my mind when I don't know what I'm fighting for And if I start trying to save the world Will the world start saving me? Oh, find someone else to guide me on But I always believe I find my own way back I was raised on good deeds and arguments Only once I'd allowed to have this say So much left unsaid by the silence one A life spent living in the grave and I want to speak the truth and I want to shout at the top of my lungs Playing the part and let the story happen as it comes. And if I start trying to save the world, will the world start saving me? Find someone else to guide me home. 
of the night This dream is not a wish that your heart makes It's the reason that we live and that we die And if I start trying to save the world Will the world start saving me? Find someone else to guide me home But I always believed I'd find my own way back And I always believed I'd find my own way back All right. So, without further ado, let's get the rest of this show rolling. Our first performer this evening uh, is Julia Klott, a senior in our studio composition program. She actually closed out our second showcase in the fall with a premiere of the live video for her song, Ghost. I am really excited to have Julia back with us tonight, performing a short live set of original compositions. So, without further ado, I would like to bring Julia Klott to the virtual stage. What's up, Julia? Hello. Your Have song a great. Is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Have a great set, and I'll see you in a little thank bit. Thank you. Hi, I'm Julia. Um, I'm going to be singing three songs today. Um, this first one is called Cry. I wrote it about a year ago, and it was actually something that I was going to put on a full length album that I was going to record before the pandemic hit. So. Um, I've kind of just been sitting on a bunch of new songs that I haven't released and they're like fully arranged and everything, um, but this is a stripped back performance of the song. Take the bad and throw it all out. There's a brick 
my song Cry. Uh, next, I'm going to be playing my song I Never Cared, which is off my first album, Brooklyn, which is out on all streaming platforms. <laughs> singing I've done <laughs> in so long. I haven't performed since like last January so my voice is really like not feeling it right now but we keep persevering. <laughs> um, this last song is called Ghost and it's actually a single of mine that's coming out this Monday so um, there's a pre-save option on my website for this song um, juliaclot.com and um, stay tuned because it's coming out on Monday. <laughs> I feel like a whole house 
has been carved right into my empty heart and filled with lies. Could it be fate or your temptation? Maybe my imagination leading me to your side. It could be a ghost whispering the last words you said, spinning the round and over, over again in my head. It could be a voice singing the same song, the one that you sang to Whispering the last words you said Spinning them round and around Over again In my head It could be your voice Singing the same song The one that you said Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm Julia. You can find my music on all streaming platforms and stay tuned for my new single. Thank you so much, Julia. That was wonderful. Thank you. Have a good time watching the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thanks again, Julia. That was a really great set. I also just would love to let you all know that my cat Joni Mitchell has decided to grace us with her presence for the rest of this <laughs> live stream concert uh, in, in true uh, live streaming fashion. Uh, all right, so one of the best things about the studio composition and studio production programs, as I mentioned before, is just you know the wide breadth of composition and production styles of our students. And um, the exciting thing for me about tonight is we're going to change things up all over the place with every performer. Everybody is doing something very uniquely their own. and. Uh, that brings me to our next presenter, which is one of my favorite students. Um, 
uh, who is a senior in our studio composition program, uh, also a producer, songwriter, engineer, uh, and will be debuting a music video this evening, I believe, for us. So without further ado, let me find Nico Kazakas. Oh, Julia, you're still there. I'm going to pull you out. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there hello, was one hello. thing I was going to like, you know, have a hard time with, and that seems to be the thing today. So Nico, how are you? Thanks for joining us. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm excited. That was a really good performance. <laughs> yes, it was really wonderful. I agree. Um, but let's get to you. Thank you so much for presenting tonight. This is your first time doing a showcase uh, for yep. the MNT Festival. And I love it if you told the viewers a little bit about the composition you're going to be showing us tonight. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this piece is called Forgive Me, and it kind of encompasses a lot of ideas. It was like a lot of stuff that I've been dealing with for the last like five years of working on music. I'm a very like meticulous and perfectionist kind of person. I don't like to get a song finished. I like to just work and keep going. And yeah. it's it's caused some problems. But for this one, I like really sat down. I was like, I'm just going to finish something. And I got the whole thing, like pretty much the whole thing except for mixing done in like a whole like one day. And okay. it was very... I don't know. It was it was a pretty organic process, and I was kind of happy with the weird nature that came out of it. Um, cool. The the lyrics and everything could be applied to a lot of things. It could be a person, but for me, I kind of wrote it about like my own motivation. Like I wasn't taking care of myself or my own like personality and my ability to write, and I was like totally losing my motivation to even like keep doing music for a while. And this was like kind of like a call to myself to like reinvigorate myself, actually want to do stuff. That's but, awesome. Yeah. And, you know, I noticed in your posts, actually, I think it was today that you had done um, a free write to write the mm -hmm. lyric for this. Is that true? Yeah, I did a couple free writes. It wasn't actually intended to write the lyric. I just do like a journaling thing in the morning. I try to write like a page on okay. like a notepad thing. And uh, it was just like I was reading through it and like a couple of the things kind of stuck with me. Like, OK, this is a recurring theme, something I should probably put into to words. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of what I did. And then I was like writing as I was going through it. And I was like, wow, OK, I finished this in like a day. But really, it was kind of something I was working on for like a few years, something I've been dealing with for so long that it wasn't, you know, it does, it feels like just the process of creation is like the time you're writing something. But yeah. you can't beat yourself up for the time that you're taking to yourself. You can't beat yourself up for the time that you're learning, but not creating or creating, but not learning or whatever. There's just so much going on <laughs> yeah and even as you said like journaling is still you know it's a form of creation and i think we talk about it in classes a lot where it's flexing that muscle whether it's geared towards musical creation or journaling or painting or photography or whatever it ends up being it's still it's still working out that tool yeah. um so you know i wanted to talk about the video for a second um did you make this mm -hmm. video yourself yeah i i made it myself what? i had a couple ideas <laughs> from friends yeah okay. so uh, I had a couple friends who like spit some ideas to me and got me like going with it. And then I kind of like took those ideas and ran with them. I had my one buddy uh, made a 3D model of my logo for me because I had like, I made this logo a long time ago for my projects, which is just Nico Kaz. Mm -hmm. um, and it was like just this NK sideways thing with like a skewer through it. Okay. But I actually like really liked how it looked and I wanted to like make it a more brand looking thing so i had my friend make a 3d model for it. Yeah, he's in a chat right now he's like oh i called him out yeah uh <laughs> well, so he awesome. helped me with that i okay. rendered that and that's what the thing in the middle is you'll that's see that's great and then like the psychedelic colors and stuff that was all you yeah yeah okay. i took like stock footage and some stuff that i just shot in different areas and just kind of combined it it was like one really close up of a flower that i had on my phone and i just uh i like crushed it up and changed it with uh after effects and just kind of do color shifting and like thermal looking stuff until it was kind of very psychedelic -y, different yeah. different outlook on the world was kind of my like mentality on it which was yeah. again kind of tying into the theme of what i was trying to do yeah i was just gonna say that does tie in so well with the lyric and and even like the melody the way it's like kind of cycling and not really resolving i don't know we could get very yeah. songwriting tech <laughs> techie here if we wanted to but um so has this been released? Are we premiering this video? This is a premiere, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've put out like a little snippet of it on like Instagram today, but that was okay. really it. Um, cool. I will have the the thing will be out, I believe, March 30th. That's like the date that I've been okay. set and planning. I'm still kind of waiting to hear back from distributors for that. Awesome. But yeah. Um, so where can people yeah. find more about you and your music? 
So yeah, uh, I have a YouTube page with a really weird link, but you can find me on Facebook, which is just uh, Nico Kaz. And <laughs> if anyone like is interested in anything I do or wants to talk, I have a public email address, which is also at the end of this video, which is just it's Nico Kaz at gmail.com. Um, and I, yeah, I love talking about music. I love writing stuff. I always like working with people. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's really easy chatting with you. I feel like we should do this more often and I'll just like hang out yeah. on StreamYard and talk about songs and talk about <laughs> yeah, for sure. making That'd videos and stuff. Yeah, it'd be very <laughs> awesome. Um, well, I guess without further ado, let's, let's premiere this video, shall we? All right. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, all right. Let's see if I can, this is the first one where I got to click all the screens. We're going to see if <laughs> I do it right. Here we go. If I won't
All right. Thank you so much, Nico. And I love the message at the end too. So be sure if you're uh, if you're interested in more music from Nico, I see him all over the chat. So you can find out more from Nico that way or uh, also check him out online as well. Um, cool. So next up uh, is another uh, second time performer uh, from our fall showcase uh, from our studio composition program a prolific composer, uh, film scoring and interested in film scoring and video game music, um, and one of my favorite students, <laughs> uh, just for his wide, wide breadth of knowledge when it comes to using all the fun music theory, theory things in their composing. Um, so without further ado, let me bring Andrew Alford to the Zoom stage. Actually, it's not even Zoom, it's StreamYard. All right, what's going on? Hello, hello. I'm so used to saying to Zoom, and here we are on StreamYard instead. How are things going, Andrew? Nice to see you again. Thank you for participating in this again. Yeah, thank you for having me back. Uh, <laughs> so it's pretty nice. It's nice to be back. Yeah, well, it's, you know, I really enjoyed your composition uh, from last semester, and, and this, to me, sounds like the sequel almost, in a sense. So, so why don't you tell everybody a little bit about this composition we're going to check out today? So uh, the composition I have is called Art of War, and really the main focus of it is it's almost a piece in two parts. There's the first part, which is very militant and like aggressive, and the second part really like slows it down abruptly, and it's much more like serene and calming and just like flowy is not a word, but yeah. Okay. So how did you manage to get two very contrasting styles of, of pieces to work together? So uh, uh, some of it's instrumentation. So the first mm -hmm. part of the piece is a lot of percussion and brass, which at least to me kind of symbolizes like war. And But the second part of the piece is woodwind and string centric. And it's okay. uh, very like calming and almost like peaceful in a way. Cool. Well, I, you know, I'm kind of uh, prompting you here because I, I read in your description of this piece that you're using some really interesting uh, musical techniques like you used in the piece you showcased last semester, including, you know, some polyrhythms and key changes and stuff. Is that something that you decided to use on purpose or it just came while you were composing? Um, the key change was something I was originally intending. I wanted to okay. switch from two, like, drastically different keys, I switch from F minor to D major, just kind of like oh, to wow. emphasize the real difference between the two and it give myself a little bit of a personal challenge to switch to two keys that have nothing to do with each other. The polyrhythms kind of like came by accident, but I kept them in because I thought it was like both cool sounding and it kind of fit the aggressive and like almost crunchy nature of like the first part. Cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of key changes. Uh, I have two in one of the holiday songs I put out a couple months ago. I, I think we got to bring them back. Let's make them be back in fashion again, right? Um, so, you know, I wanted to ask you, are you working on any projects right now and scoring any films or anything that you can mention? Uh, I don't have any films at the moment. I am like about to finish up on a musical that I'm not writing the words, wow. but I am writing the music for it. Okay. And then we're going to sort that out. And then I have like a couple just casual like video game projects that I'm working on with a small team of friends. That's great. So if people are interested in, um, you know, working with you and, and talking about scoring, uh, they should reach you at your Instagram handle. Yeah, my Instagram handle, I've named myself and my YouTube channel. You can go to youtube.com slash Andrew Alford Music. And great. those are like the main two places to find me. Awesome. Well, uh, Actually, there's one other question I didn't ask you. Where is this wonderful music video from? Oh, it's it's wonderful music video. It's something I found on Pixabay, and I like use my great magic in iMovie to copy and paste it multiple times and reverse <laughs> it every other time. It works really well with the video, and I can't wait for everyone to see it. And don't don't you know put down Pixabay because I don't know if you remember my, my video from last semester, but literally all the projections that are projecting on me for the video are from Pixabay. So <laughs> gotta love some public domain video footage. It's the best thing ever. Exactly. Yes. All right. Awesome. Well, let's see if I can do my schnazzy window thing again, and we'll check out your video, Andrew. I'm excited. Here we go. Ah.
That was gorgeous. What a transition, Andrew. So cool. Thank you so much again for presenting. I hope that you also consider presenting for our second uh, showcase this semester. And I'm going to just take a second and talk about those. Um, our second showcase for spring is going to be on March 26th. Uh, and that showcase is going to be specifically featuring um, our film scoring and uh, video game composing students in the studio composition and production programs, uh, some of whom who are working in conjunction with our, our film department. Uh, and that's going to be co-hosted by Alba Toramoka, who is also uh, a film scorer and one of our uh, professors in the MNT department. Uh, we're very excited to be doing a film scoring and video game music centric showcase as it's become such a big part of what we do in our department. So that's our, our second showcase. And then our third showcase is going to be on April 23rd, and that's going to be um, all bands. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more in detail about that as we continue to nail down some of the, the details. <laughs> uh, but that's going to be on April 23rd as well. So let's get to our next performer. Um, this performer has been a student of mine for a few years. Uh, her name is Elaine Rojas. Uh, she's a studio composition major whose original music is a collaboration of her jazz roots and more recent immersion into the R&B and soul music genres. Elaine Rojas will be performing a short live set of her original compositions this evening. And without further ado, I'm going to bring Elaine to the StreamYard stage. What's up, Elaine? How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Good to see you. So nice to see you. Thank you so much for doing a set tonight. I am going to turn the stage over to you. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Music and Technology Department, for hosting me, having this. It's been so incredible to see all of my fellow classmates who just continually inspire me. Um, and I just can't rave enough about the music and technology program at Purchase. It has completely shaped and nurtured my um, artistic journey, really, and I'm just really grateful. So I wanted to make that shout out really quick before I start. Um, I'm going to be performing an original called Draw a Line, which actually uh, I have never performed before. It's uh, not released. Um, it should be coming out this year on my first album. And I wrote this song um, about a relationship I was struggling in to create boundaries and sort of I think we all have that experience where we feel like we're not being heard or seen. Um, and, you know, as for most of us, music is a therapy for me and sort of this song sort of wrote itself about that. So um, here we go. <laughs> can't make you see the way things have changed for me and I can't make you feel the way I do now it's not my too far gone there's no saving it now there's no saving it now Saving it now 
But I can't say I tried my best this time But I've grown so tired I must draw a line I must draw a line Um, so that was my song called Draw a Line. Um, yeah, the next song I'll be performing is, I too, I'm going to take a water break, actually. It's so weird to not see people while this is happening. <laughs> it's like, am I here alone or not? I don't know. Um, so the next song I'll be performing is actually released. It's called Sweetest Love I Could Ever Want. Um, you can find it on Spotify. Apple Music, um, I'm going to be doing a stripped down version of it, obviously, and uh, yeah, I mean, this song I, I wrote about um, my fiance, aww, it's so cute, um, and um, it actually was a song that I wrote in one sitting, which is kind of unusual, I don't know, it sort of felt like it was meant to happen, and um, what was I going to say? I totally forgot. Uh, oh, I remember. So I, I kind of realized halfway through writing it that it had sort of spiritual undertones and, um, and I, it kind of took on this, this double meaning, which I love in songwriting. And, um, yeah, I think that true love is like that. It's, it's, um, it's similar to faith in that, you know, it, it's, it's worthy of praise and, um, yeah, so it's a special song to me for sure. Um, I hope you enjoy it.
Yeah, um, Elaine Nicole Ross is my Instagram handle. If you want to come follow me um, or check out my music uh, at Spotify, Apple Music. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, Elaine. That was such a wonderful set. Have a great rest of the night. Thank you. All right, give it up one more time for Elaine. And yeah, Elaine, I totally feel you on the whole, like, is there an audience? Is there not an audience? What do I do at the end of the song? I don't know. We're going to be so good at not doing things in front of an audience. When we finally have people in front of us, nobody's going to leave the right space at the end of a song. It's just going to feel crazy. Anyways, before I introduce our next presenter, I'd like to take a second and thank a bunch of really wonderful people. First off, Jenny Underkoffler, the director of the Music Conservatory, who has always supported our music and technology department and really facilitated this creation of these music and technology festivals. I'd also like to thank Leah Springer for assisting with promotion and our fearless leader, Peter Denenberg, the chair of our M&T department. Without him, none of this would be possible at all. Um, as well as all of our studio composition and production professors. Uh, but most importantly, I'd like to thank our students for their hard work this semester and finding so much creativity and collaboration, even in such a difficult time. All right, well, let's get back to some fun, fun music. Um, our next video was created by studio composition student Banner Reed, who premiered a music video in our second showcase as well. I love all these repeat offenders. It's just so awesome that you're all feeling so prolific. Uh, and so I'm really excited to have him back this evening to premiere another music video. So let's let's get chatting. What's going on, Banner? Nice to see you. Nothing much, nothing much. The Great job, everyone, so far. Brilliant. <laughs> I know. This has just been, I like how it's like all so different, and especially mm -hmm. in comparison to our last showcase, but it's mm -hmm. it all complements each other still, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so Banner, let's talk about you. Could you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about the song? Let's start with the composition. Yeah. yeah, so this song is called 444. Uh, it's out on all platforms right now under my artist name, Green Tea Party. Um, so the song I wrote like late last year, and it was actually a birth child between a model assignment and then um, a songwriting final. And I kind of combined, me. yeah, that's you, that's you. <laughs> and I, I really liked what you said about um, two sides of the story kind of concept. Um, so lyrically, that's kind of what I wanted to go for. Um, it's actually about a heartbreak I had last year. Oh, wow. Was, yeah, I was heartbroken and then coronavirus hit. So I was like, double whammy. Yeah. Um, and then it was kind of written about that feeling you have, like at the beginning of a heartbreak where you're like, I have so many emotions that I can't even pour them out. Mm -hmm. But once again, getting heartbroken, best thing to happen as a songwriter, because it's oh, just yeah. <laughs> lyrics about. Yeah, but, um, exactly. But, I, um, I noticed there's a, a featured vocalist on this as well. Yes, yeah, Little Scooty. Um, her at is at Little Scooty Official, I believe, on Instagram. Okay. Um, she's very brilliant. Check her out. Uh, she's on Spotify, Apple Music as well. Okay. Great. And then, you know, let's get to the visuals. Um, tell us a little bit about this mm -hmm. music video and what inspired it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was shot by me and a film major, Chloe Smith. Amazing, amazing at what she does. Um, so we went out, I believe, two weeks ago and shot it on actual VHS, which was amazing. I've always wanted to work with actual VHS. And kind bring of it back. Yeah, bringing it back. <laughs> um, conceptually, I, I was kind of bouncing between this FaceTime idea and then... Okay kind of, I shifted to more of a TV show approach. You'll see like my little TV logo in the corner that I edited in. Um, awesome. And Adam Pritchkowski in Masterclass, he said it gave a very Spike TV kind of feel, which I really like. Yes. Um, that's kind of what I was going for. So like that reality 2000s nostalgia kind of kicking in. Very cool. Um, so I think you just said this, but I want to make sure I heard clear mm -hmm. clearly. Chloe is a film major at mm -hmm. Purchase College. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get your hands on some real VHS? She just had it. I think she bought it at a film store. It's from the 90s. Um, we actually had to plug it into the wall. It's one of those ones that like what? the battery is bad. So we had to like plug it into the wall and figure out. It, it was a whole process to figure out how to shoot it, but it turned out amazing. <laughs> yeah, cool. I, I completely agree. It really turned out amazing. And I know you said at the top of this, um, but where can people find more about you and your music? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can find me at my Instagram ads right there at that anarcho punk on Instagram. And then I'm going to drop my website down in the YouTube chat link tr.ee backslash green tea party band. Uh, you can find me on all platforms for four is out streaming right now on my YouTube channel as well. Awesome. Banner, thank you so much. Um, this is my last snazzy screen share move. Let's see if I do a good job at it. 
here we go there it is all right so without further ado 444 All right, thank you so much, Banner. What an incredible video. Um, just so, so cool. And I definitely think the VHS made such a big difference. It's kind of making me want to put my music on cassettes, although I don't have a cassette player, but maybe we could make new schnazzy cassette players in VHSs and then just start spreading it all around. Anyways, our final performer tonight is uh, another repeat offender from our second showcase, or actually first showcase in the fall. Um, and I am just so excited to have him close the show for us tonight. Uh, that performer's name is Eli Shane, who's gonna be playing a live set. Um, and you know, Eli is a singer songwriter uh, and instrumentalist out of Queens, New York, who has been composing music for nearly a decade, inspired by artists like Joni Mitchell and, and Bjork. Eli also released a single in 2019 titled The Lindsay Song and is currently working on new music. I would like to invite Eli Shane to the stage. What is up? Hello. Eli, have a great Woo. set. You feeling good? Thank you, thank you. Feeling great. Can't All right. Wait. Awesome. Yes. I'll see you on the other side. All <laughs> right. Let's play some music. Every word I spoke 
I was in denial of what I was thinking I fantasize a place where we'd once been I pray for those who haven't yet worn thin I know what constitutes winning I was broken up and I was cold I was broken up and I was Bombay I will see the sea that sails with soul I will see the sea that sees the sun See until you come. I was in the seed, so you would plant me. Be a branch of me, rooted deep Grow leaves I will face myself and break the knee I will be the one to point a needle to the sun That the light reflected where I'm next to roam I'll be in the sunlight till you come I'll be in the sunlight till you come I'll be in the sea and I'll see myself differently And not be rushing to swim to familiarity And so my hands were getting coarse I'll be in the sea until you come That is a brand new song that I wrote. It is called I Will See the Sea, and I too was shocked that that song title was not yet taken. Um, yeah. Outfit changes are so last year. Guitar changes is where it's at. Anyway, um, I'm working on an album right now in the vaguest sense of the word, uh, and that last song and this next one look like it's gonna be on it. So this next one is called Sledgehammer. Let's do it. The sledgehammer of our very, very, very fine world. It's a cold honor that'll never, ever, ever find warmth. The sledgehammer of our very, very, very fine world Sits in the arms of a princess in a holding cell on the ground floor that were stolen from the ground The trench coat and precious metals that have helped me on the way Means nothing to the birds who are squawking that I'm not pulling my weight
I don't want to hear myself talk anymore I don't want to hear myself talk anymore I never ever 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 want to leave this world I don't want to hear myself Yeah. <laughs> All right. That is Sledgehammer. And I wrote that song about a video game. Uh, and this next song that I'm playing uh, was on an EP that I released a bunch of years ago. Um, and I think I'm going to re-record it because uh, I've looked back on it and I made some changes and I think it could be really great if we redid it. And a big thank you to Rebecca and a big shout out to everyone who performed so far who was amazing and it's so cool to be on a lineup alongside them so yeah this song is called the view I miss when you had long hair I miss when you'd mess everything up I miss when we made music that sounded good Despite a lack of trust I want the clipped piano track back I didn't want much to be featured Cause I thought it should be clean Oh. Oh. I used to sit atop the backboard that we always used I felt so powerful but Honestly, I just like the view Ooh. Ooh. I just like the view Ooh. Ooh. I wish we'd smile, sing again I wish I'd see you every week I wish you didn't live so far even though distance can seem fake I want to reach back one more time it hurts looking back always asking why didn't I call you used to step on top of everything I'd always do it didn't feel that great but honestly I just liked the view I just liked the view All right. Those are my songs. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank you so much, Eli. That was such a great set. And that first Thank guitar you. that you played sounded amazing. Yes, love the resonator. Yes. All right. Everybody go find Eli at elishanemusic.com. Thank you so much. All right. And that brings us to the end of our musical program for this evening. Uh, thanks so much, everyone, for watching. And remember, for more information, you can head over to purchase.edu. Um, you can also check out our Instagram, uh, especially the music and technology one, uh, which is music and technology purchase on Instagram. Stay healthy, 
stay creative, and we look forward to seeing you all again for our second MNT Festival Showcase on March 26th, which is featuring our film scoring and video game creating music students, um, at, followed by one on April 23rd. So please mark your calendars and come hang and listen to some really great music. All right, everybody, take care, and I will see you all soon.